Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to add identity column to table by using tsql and graphical user interface in sql server let's go ahead and take a look here open ssms and then connect to one of the sql server instance and then i have written some scripts i'm using tech brothers it database so i have a create statement for a table so create table dbo.customer i first name last name and age so i do not have any identity column identity column is a, a column that has the auto generated or automatically populated value so when you insert a value in other columns so a new row is generated but identity value will be automatically generated according to the definition you have to provide a seed or initial value that can be one and then you have to provide the increment that can be also one or two or three whatever you want to increment once uh, you keep inserting the values, uh, the identity column value will be automatically incremented. Uh, now, we will add that later. First of all, uh, I'm just creating a simple table. So you create a table, we insert two values. Uh, and then uh, we take a look here. So you see that we have first name, last name, and age. Uh, we do not have any number going on. Uh, here we have one and two, but this is only in SSMS. Uh, but we would like to have another column called customer ID and we want that auto generated. So let's uh, drop this table and then we can uh, add that column. We call it a customer ID and it is going to be integer and then you have to say identity. And uh, first you have to provide initial value and then you have to provide uh, the incremental value. So we did uh, one comma one. That means start with the one and every time a new row will be inserted, you will increment by one. So I'm going to create this table again, insert the values. You see that I did not put the customer ID column here and I'm not providing any value for that customer ID because the customer ID column is the identity column and value will be automatically populated. So we will insert the values in other columns and once uh, we select the data from uh, the table, we see that uh, we have customer ID, one, two, and if I will insert, uh, let's say we we'll, uh, insert the same values again, now we will have two more records. Uh, so identity column will be keep uh, incrementing. Uh, so one, two, three, four. Uh, so let's drop this table. And uh, you see that we started the seed one, uh, and uh, then uh, we are incrementing with the one. Uh, so I'm going to make a small change and show you what does that mean. If uh, I want to increment by two. So let's say I want to start with the always 10 and I will increment by two. So let's create this table. Now if I will insert the values and uh, take a look on the table. You see it started with two, uh, sorry 10 and then incrementing uh, by two. So that's how the identity column work. Uh, Let's drop this table and uh, think about that. We have totally forgotten uh, to add the identity column. We created the table and then uh, we inserted the records uh, and uh, records are there. And we, we totally forgot okay, we, uh, to add the identity column. How we'll add the identity column to existing table where the, it has the data. So we can do that too. We say alter table and then a table name debut customer add and uh, we will provide the column name customer id and say integer identity one comma one or whatever the uh, c initial uh, seed you would like to have or increment you would like to have in my case one comma one will work just fine and you see that we have two records already in the table so if we'll add this column as an identity it will uh, generate those uh, identity values for the existing uh, values uh. so you see that uh, we have a uh, first name last name and age uh, customer id is added and we can see that uh, the values are populated uh, for the existing records uh. if i will insert the, the new records uh, it is going to work uh, just fine and it will keep incrementing uh. so you see that it is keep incrementing uh. now this is uh, the way we use uh, by using the script uh. so we say if we are uh, here we always say customer ID, integer data type, and then say identity and seed and uh, increment. So that's how we will uh, add when we are creating a new table. 
if table already exists we say alter table table name add the column name what you like to have for your identity column integer data type and then uh, we are saying identity and provide the seed and uh, um, the incremental value now let's drop this table and we would like to create this table in graphical user interface and uh, go to tech brothers go to the tables new table new table and uh, we are going to say customer id integer allow null not we do not want to allow null because this is the identity column and then we are going to say first name watcher 50 I don't want to have a null for a first name as well last name fine allow nulls is fine for this one there are there could be customer they will have a, um, age int, let's say tiny int. there would be customer they could have a last name uh, not available for them so allow null is fine and uh, age is uh, uh, tiny int the value can be between 0 to 255 so that will work just fine and uh, to add the identity what we have to do we have to click on the column and then come in the uh, columns property Why, once we are down further here and we see identity specification it is say knows double click here and uh, let's see let me take a look here identity specifications say no is identity click here on the identity specification if I will keep keep clicking here it's not going to let me do anything so I have to click on this arrow and uh, then I will get the drop down is identity yes once I say yes uh, then it is saying okay identity increment so this is increment value and this is identity seed so this is the starting point so if I want to start with the one fine and I want to increment by one that's increment if I want to start with the 10 remember we did and then we will increment by two or three or whatever we want to do we can do that as well so let's say we keep starting point 10 and keep adding it three on each of the new increment and now from here we have two options we can save this table once we save it it asks us okay you want to provide the name we call it dbo customer uh, let's say identity so it will uh, go ahead and uh, create this table for us uh, and if we are interested to generate the script from here we can do that as well so let me cancel this out here okay and now if i come back here and say generate change script uh, it is uh, generating the script for me so i'm going to copy that and just show you what the uh, script it is uh, using new query paste it here and you see that uh, create table table name so whatever the table name you want to provide you can do it customer id integer not now identity starting point 10 or c10 and then incremented by three first name worker uh, last name worker not now and this is null is fine and age is tiny int and the uh, uh, creator now on primary so this is this is pretty much it you need this much uh, and uh, we are fine we can run this script it will generate the table or if we will uh, uh, sorry it will create the table see we do that let's do it so now it's called table one so you see table one it is created and uh, if we go to columns uh, we see customer id uh, first name last name and all that and uh, we can further take a look um, I will uh, actually explain uh, uh, how to find uh, if the table has identity or not in the next video. So till here we are pretty much done. But if you want to save from here the existing uh, uh, from the designer you want to create a table you have to hit save and provide the table name. I'm going to create that too. So I will show you two ways. First we did, took the script from here and uh, now we are same in the table from here hit ok so this will be generated as well customer designer so we have column customer id first name last name and age if i go back uh, let me close this one um, i can change here underscore designer and uh, i have first name last name and same thing um, let me just drag the entire table so I don't make mistake here 
and if I will insert these records, uh, this is going to work just fine because we have the same column names here and uh, we can select the record from here. So if I will select, I will see the records are inserted successfully. So we started with 10 and we are incrementing by 3. But most of the time in real time, we always uh, start with the 1 and increment uh, by 1. That's how we do that. So you learn uh, how to create a table with identity by using T-SQL and also you learn how to create a table by using the designer with identity and also you learn how to generate the script from there to use in other environments such as QA, UAT and production for the table creator. Uh, thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next video.